the 24th of April, 14 immigrant-owned shops in Extension 6 and 7 were looted by groups. The looting happened during legal demonstrations by civic organizations and taxi associations. Local police, public order police and private security companies responded to calls for help by shop owners. After previously suffering from xenophobic looting in 2015, immigrant shop owners were vigilant moving their stocks the day before the marches. We spoke to a community member who helped a shop owner, Mr. Shalam Khan, move his stock. <laughs> We spoke to a community member who participated in the March for Better Service Delivery who has chosen to remain anonymous. It just like has nothing to do now with my friend whatsoever, but he strikes us because come and come and spoil for his service charges. Only those perpetrators about the advantage and call my friend. Nekhat Ali shop was looted in 2015 and 2018. He tells us on both occasions his shop was vandalized and he has lost everything as a result. On the time, whatever we have in the shops, the shop was cleased, including the fridges. The people take the fridges, everything, unless the shelves, they broke it. They make the, oh, everything is damaged in the shop. I'm staying here since from 2007. Whatever I make since from that day, I lose in the one day. The people also don't want to want the foreigner here. Because uh, when they need help, when we do the help, they say it's fine. After five minutes, they don't need. We spoke to Mbulelo Lipila, the chairperson of South African Foreign Integration Committee, which was created to integrate locals and immigrants. He believes the lack of service delivery leads to conflict between the two. We're tired already of Suffolk. We decided that in the last meeting we have, that it is not good that we must always be re-established and live in fear. We need all the people who have applied for the march to be held accountable for all the impact that happens to these shops. Without the shops, there's no good life. Without the taxes, there's no good life. Without the service delivery, there's no good life. Everything is, is, is very important on the wheel because once you break one, you don't get the other. The general feeling from the community is they want the immigrant shop owners to keep working in the community. They believe the looting was a result of criminal work. Many of the shop owners declined speaking to us, fearing for their safety and their businesses. Reporting for Makanda News, Masitembe Sazana, Grahamstown.